description is that then little thing at the bottom that tells you the description of the map. That tells you the description of the map. Be glad. Just be. Just don't ask and listen to what I'm saying. Any map, any changes you make, just click regular save in order to save the map. Okay. Now we have officially created the melee map. Now we're gonna get into a little bit more tricky stuff. Now we're getting into some tricky stuff. Now we're gonna get into the stuff that people want me to do. All right. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit setting. All right, first thing we do is we want to customize this a little bit. You see this star location and stuff? We're going to learn how to do the actual UMS part of this, of the tutorial. Now, we want to make it a mission where the Zerg have infested this area right here, and it's up to the Terran, and it's up to the Terran to go and smoke, it's up to the Terran to go over there and smoke the living shit out of them, which is something we hope to do. So we're going to create a small bit. So what you want to do is you want to create a small bit. That if you're doing a UMS map, you want to create a small base because your map, because your game will never register. Because if you can have a start location, your your UMS game will never will never show up. You will never have you will not have anything, and you will get your ass handed to you because you will have already lost. We'll click the so build a sm we're going to manufacture a small base. You can sign ground assign. Check your folders right here. You can assign ground units right here. You can assign ground units on the thing. So we're going to put some Marines around here. You're just going to be chilling. We're going to chill right there. Next thing we know, we're going to have a nice bear. We're going to have some barracks because we need Marines to come out because we need Marines to be spawning out of them. Makes you, wonder all the, makes you wonder how we got all the recruits out of those small buildings that were just constructed no more than five seconds ago. Doesn't supply new pots, so we have a source of food. One thing I will... Remember one thing. You can't have the command center right next to the minerals. The game will not allow that. There's, there are ways to do... There are ways to get the command center next to the minerals. But honestly, it requires a different map editor. I'll show you what kind of map editor you can be using. That will get that will help you produce the results that you need. We're gonna put on some different. We're gonna put on some different. All right, we're gonna go to a different game uh, soundtrack. We're gonna go to a different little game soundtrack before we continue. Let's see. This should work. Mario, Super Mario Galaxy. Okay, we're gonna create. We'll continue the bit. I'm gonna continue the bases manufacturing right here. Some academies. We need some academies. Definitely need some bunkers. Definitely need some bunkers. Marine defenses never work without the bunkers because, well, let's just face it. Marines. Well, let's just face it. Marines would then be like slaughtered. Zerglings. <laughs> Zerglings and their speed of oh my fucking god. Okay, we got this. The game will actually register the, these guys. The game now when you're playing on UMS, these guys will be registered. All right. Now if we want to build a Zerg base. All right, one more thing for our base that I forgot to build. That I forgot to put down. We're gonna need workers. Technically, we don't, but it's nice to have them. All 
By the way, if anyone wants any of the soundtracks that I'll be playing for this uh, tutorial thingy, if anyone wants any of the soundtracks that go off in the background, send me a message. At the same time, if I don't cover anything that you're looking for in specific, you can also send me a message there. I just kind of want to give people who have not used the campaign editor a kind of feel for it. How you, what you want to do in campaign editor is entirely up to you, and it's not my concern. I'll help you do it, but you need to. I'll help you do it, but you need to uh, send me a message. I just want to cover the basics of how to do stuff. With Zerg buildings, as you build them, you'll see the creep expansion. But you will see the creep expanding and stuff. If this works, we're gonna have a uh, that up. And since it needs to be harder, we're gonna build We're gonna make it look like the Zerg are a little bit more advanced than us. Start building some drones. We have a couple ultralists. Yeah, so no, we only have eight Marines, and they have two ultralists. Eight Marines in the versus two Ultras. We have no more eight Marines. I can still taste that salt stuff from the food I had earlier. I don't know if this is the salt. Make sure you include Overlords for Zerg base. There you go. Okay, we have a small base. We have two small bases right now. First, we're going to teach you how to do the setting, the player thing settings. These player settings will basically allow you to assign, to assign different statistics to the game. This can make the game a little bit more interesting and stuff. Depends on what you want, again. Now you can click on a player, and you can decide what that player is going to be. Race, um, this is, uh, what do you... Race, but basically it's you switch, your, switch what race you, um, the current player is at that time. You can default him as Terran, Zerg, or Protoss. If it's user selectable, then the commands, then the command for that, then the building, builder building for that base will be the first will be at the start location. If you already have a builder's building on the field, then this will not work. Then that will not occur. Um, to then control is a, a little bit... What? And there's four control settings. Computer means the computer will use it. The computer will use it. The computer is 90% of the time the enemy. There are very few times, there are very few maps that the computer is out. Although, if you manipulate the triggers correctly, you can actually have the, you can have a computer-generated ally. Just gotta know how to generate. Just gotta know how to manipulate the triggers. I might show you how to do that. I might not. I'll probably sh I'll show you how to do that in case anyone's interested. Human will basically mean that this player is under a human control. Rescueable is an interesting thing. You can see you. See, this indicates right here that there is a. Uh, that means that w the moment one of your players goes nearby that unit, that unit switches to your control. You've seen it, you've probably seen it plenty of times in the missions. You can see it in the first mission of the original StarCraft when you first meet your unit. You guys will know what I'm saying. Howdy boys and Jim Raider march all these parts. Hmm. First mission. That's what rescue means. 
I'm sure I had to use it correctly. 